The psalm for today is 107, verses 1 through 9. O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy, and gathered them out of the lands, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. They wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distresses. And he led them forth by the right way, that they might go to a city of habitation. O oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he satisfieth the longing soul, and filleth the hungry soul with goodness. The epistle for today is James chapter 1, verses 22 through 27. Do not merely listen to the word, and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like someone who looks at his face in a mirror, and after looking at himself, goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. But whoever looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues in it, not forgetting what they have heard, but doing it, they will be blessed in what they do. Those who consider themselves religious and yet do not keep a tight rein on their tongues deceive themselves, and their religion is worthless. Religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this, to look after orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. Here ends the epistle. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. Hallelujah. Christ being raised from the dead, dieth no more. Death hath no more dominion over him. Hallelujah.